Hey guys, disclaimer, I won't have all the product links. The links I do find will be listed in my description box. Thanks for understanding. So I will be showing you my studio. This is mine and my brother's studio. He started off with the studio, so most of the designs in there are his idea or he purchased them, so I won't have information regarding any of that. But I did move in last year, so I do have a few items in here. So the first thing that you will see is my rack. I have that it's on, it's so funny. <laughs> my uh, nail polish rack i got this from amazon i will put the link down below if you're interested there are so many different kinds and this is just for my regular polishes that i use for regular manicures and pedicures and this is a candy display machine that my brother did purchase if i am correct he got it from ebay and I just wanted to show you the matte and gloss wallpaper design. It's really pretty slick and black. Um, my brother also has the PlayStation and cable and Netflix and all that good stuff for all the clients to watch and play with. These are just some nice frames that he has. He also has a ton of appreciation rewards and certifications. So we have magazines and games and this is our chalk board wall that we have we have all the backups on the right side corner our couches um, a really nice carpet some nice coasters designed from the chicago area and more rewards as you can see most of this stuff was already picked out so i cannot put any links regarding that we also have a hookah that he got from a client and that we use for our clients if they would like to use This is our snack corner. We have a mini fridge. We usually have it fully loaded with some protein bars and a ton of chips, but we have to get to shopping. Here's the hair sink. This is where he washes his clients. And we do have a mini washer and dryer. It works pretty decent if you just have small loads. This is his work that he frames up. It's really great work that has been actually on the beauty show covers, the beauty show magazines cover for Chicago. We have some of his accessories that he uses for the sh uh, chair. And we have waxing products, paraffin waxing, and the facial products as well. This is just some hard liquor that we provide for our clients if they would like our vacuum and our trash can and this is his station i have no idea where he got any of these items so i would not have any links for this but this is his little corner that i don't really want to get too into but we do store a ton of our things in here so here are all of our cleaning products and just backups and anything that we need to hide that doesn't look so pretty outside and then this is our food one where we put all our backups food waters and all that stuff and this is my little corner <laughs> just showing you the details and this is the green wall this is where he has a ton of magazines signatures a ton of things that he has that he frames his cds that he has done and a ton of his work now you will see the best part of the studio which is the whole wall on the left side of the studio when you come in and it's all chicago literally every m moment that you can think of of chicago he specifically picked out every single one of these pictures so when he asked someone to make it he was able to put them together with what he wanted and he's actually in the pictures you can see right there he put himself in there and these are walls that can be popped off so you can take them with and put them in a new place if he would like as well there's some really pretty lights that go all around the studio for lighting for pictures for all that good stuff and this is my desk i will go into detail i got this i think it's a brush holder my mom well i didn't get it my mom got it for me as a gift and i think it was from marshall's for a few dollars and i just put some jewelry in there and i will show you these are all my gel brushes my gel and some small detail brushes that i have i have all different brands from aliexpress i have opi i have from my school when i went to school they gave me a ton of brushes i also have ordered from ebay amazon from premiernailsource.com. There's just a ton of places that I've ordered them from. These are my dotting tools and my chrome um, rubber sticks, if that's what you call them. And I have all my acrylic brushes here. 
these two are my brushes that I use for dip nails and for glitter nails. So I can brush it off. They're very, very soft bristles. One, the gold one is from Morphe and the other one I got from AliExpress. And I have Nuni Taurus. I have Nail Planet, Glitter Planet. I have, oh, it's just a ton of brushes that I have from different places. I'll try to link as many stores down below. They're different sizes, anywhere from 8, 10, 12, 14, even a 16 in there. So I just like to try out different brands, see what I prefer. And these right here are my 3D acrylic brushes and some little detail brushes as well. And here I just have a card holder. This is for the gym. You get a free class. I will link that below. The gym is located downstairs. This is my lamp. It's a UV LED. It has a 10 second, 30 second, 60 second timer and it's an IBD. I got this from the beauty show. I love it because love it you can separate it if you would like to do pedicures and do no chips or if you just need to separate it. If you're traveling, you don't have to worry about, you know, if you forgot the bottom piece or anything like that. It's just very convenient. Um, this cushion is actually a sit-up cushion. I got this from Marshalls. It's the one that you put underneath your back to do uh, sit-ups, crunches. And it's amazing as a hand rest for my clients. It works awesome. I needed something black, and this is what I found, and this is what I'm using for my clients to lean their hands. This is my nail file duster. It is from Amazon. It works amazingly, and you can take these little substitutes out of the filter and just pop in a new one or you can wash it and actually let it fully dry and reuse it it is amazing i will link that down below as well it is awesome it is my favorite so far from all the other ones i have bought and it works great and it's very conveniently priced this is my card stand holder i don't remember where i got this from i think i got it from tony's nail supplies and my cards are from etsy and this is my hand file Electric file, not hand file, electric file that I got from PremierNailSource.com. It is $99. I've had it for three plus years and it has not failed me. I truly love it. And I have a video where I review both my electric file and um, my nail bits and what they are for and how to properly use them. So if you are interested in watching that video, I will be popping it up in the screen in a little bit just so you can see how it looks and you can look it up in my videos. I will have it down linked in the description box as well. This is my ring light. I will link it down below. And this is an actual yoga mat. It is a yoga mat that I use on top of my Alex drawer desk because it is marble, which is my favorite, and it protects my desk from everything and anything. And I got it from Marshalls. So if you're interested in just finding different designs for your desk go ahead and get a yoga mat and cut it up to your size and fit it and it fits perfectly and I just have a regular trash bin in there that my brother got and I just wanted to show you guys how I connect I how I connect my plugs so I use a double scotch kind of I can't explain what it is I can't think right now <laughs> but it holds up all my cords so I don't have anything plugged from the top so it works really nice and convenient. So these are my base coats and top coats for gel. Um, I love Enel Couture, IBD. This is just my favorites. I will link some of these below. And IBD, um, Enel Couture Shiny. This is definitely my one or two favorite top coats. Can't go without. And I also have BNC, which is BundleMonster.com. It is awesome. Gel 2 is very nice, too. It was one of my first when I first started doing nails. I also have little samples that I would get. I have my Kira Sky kit that I also got as a gift. I will link it down below to see uh, if I remember where I got it from. Um, I have for the dip system. And then just some fake flowers that I put. And I got the vase from a thrift store for just a buck or two, I think it was. And it was really pretty, so I really liked it. Um, also, the stands I got as a gift from one of my cousins, so I don't know exactly where you can get one like this, and it is an OPI stand. These are just caption polishes. This is one of my favorites, Cuticle Oil. It's from thegelbottle.com, and then this one is my number one Cuticle Oil. It's Orally Gel FX Cuticle Oil. It smells amazing. It doesn't give any flashback when you take photography, and it just, it's so nice. It smells awesome. I just can't. It smells so good. Definitely would recommend this cuticle oil. And on top, I just have my regular manicure 
polishes, which is my nail strengthener, my fillers, my bases, my ridge fillers, just anything I need for a regular manicure or for a pedicure. And I have most of my favorites in there that I try. Anything that I like more than once, I definitely get backups. These are just top coats that I have here. But honestly, my favorite two top coats are these two that I'm going to mention right now, which I am going to kill their names, which is such a Vite and Out the Door M. These are my two favorite top coats. They last forever. They stay glossy. They, they don't chip super fast. They are amazing for pedicures and for manicures. I definitely recommend them. Now, this one has a holographic glitter in it it's the northern light it's just like the top coat i showed you but it has holographic glitters as a top coat it's super pretty if you just want to layer your nails with it definitely recommend it now if you have any nail biter either kids or just family friends definitely recommend something like this i got this from walgreens you apply this it tastes like crap it really tastes horrible so it'll prevent you from biting your nails and this is just where i put my barbicide i got the container from sally's beauty supply and the barbicide i got from tony's nail supply this one i got from the nail in in school when i was a student and then when i became a teacher i got it and i just kept it and this is what i use here at the studio it's just i just brings good memories and this is just a little sample kit that my brother got from his little kits that he gets from um companies so he throws over any nail products to me and these are my swatch books this is where i put all my swatches for gel polish and i will be having a video on how i swatch these and apply them and just how i Go upon using these so if you would like to see that just stick around and these are all my gel polishes that i swatch and i use clear nail tips because that shows the true color if you apply them under white it just pops the color more so then you have those clients that are like it doesn't look like the swatch that i'm looking at or if you use like the neutral color tips so i i just always prefer to use clear all the time on any swatches it just works to my benefit And the pink book is my dip nail swatch book. So it's just my dipped acrylics. It's just my regular dip acrylics that I do with the swatches. I just dip them in like if I was doing a regular service. And I got to fill this book up definitely for sure. Um, here's just some details that I have. Some little decor, some flowers with a pot, some little cute designs from Mexico from my mother-in-law, my license and i got this from michael's this is honestly one of my favorite pieces in the studio i love this hand display i got this from michael's and it is awesome i love it now i have it on my actual desk so when clients come with their rings or their bracelets they can leave them there and hold them while they wait this is a picture of my family with the cute ohana quote and this one i got from michael's as well it's a pencil holder it's an owl it's rose gold super pretty for just a few dollars one of our plants that we have in the studio and then i also have my alex drawer from ikea it is the nine drawer one it's super awesome i love it and these little designs are awesome because my mom got them specially made handmade in mexico and this is a nail tech doing a client's nails and this is a barber doing a client's hair so it's super awesome that my brother got one and i got one as well really a nice little touched and this is where i put my swatches it's just a jewelry stand that i got from the thrift store for like 50 cents and it's awesome because i can put jewelry to make it look really pretty and i put my swatches and like i said i use clear tips for all my swatches this is for my acrylic swatches so these are all the acrylics i have and have made myself so if you're interested in also watching that the colors that i make myself i'll link them down below and this one I got from Michael's. It is my agenda where I write all my appointments and anything I have to do. It just matched my whole theme with marble rose gold. The cart I got from Amazon as a gift from my mother. My mother. <laughs> my mom. And it was, I'm not sure how much it was, but it was really pretty because it's really thin. Now I put my alcohol on the spray bottle, my acetone on the acetone bottle, polish remover, and my favorite antibacterial soap that I get from Walmart. It smells amazing if you're interested in buying soap really inexpensive and it smells so awesome i just put my white towels i get a new towel for every single client and then i apply paper towels on top of that and i just fold them and i lay them here and i also have my nuni torres monomer here the reason why i have it here is because it leaks so i stand it up and i have a review on the video and of all the products i bought from him if you're interested it's linked down below i got the desk fan that is a usb 
success fan. It's amazing for regular manicures or if you do pedicures to dry your nails faster. Just Kleenex. And I have, this was my back in the day phone holder for when I used to start my videos now i use it for my practice and it is a little broken that's why there's a band on there but hey i'm gonna use it until it literally can't hold anything and it works perfectly for my manic and practice hand and you just screw it on the table so it still works awesome and i just wanted to show you that the cart moves it has the little holders um the dream and belief pillow i got from five and below i do have to stitch it it ripped a little bit but it is awesome and it's really sweet this chair is my client's chair. It is extremely comfortable. I get nothing but compliments on how comfortable it is. I got it from Amazon for a decent price. I'll link it below. And this is my Ikea drawer that I got my desk. It is a gray desk, but the tabletop is black and the legs are gray. I know, so different, right? <laughs> and these are my cuticle pushers. I did show that I have the bands but i don't use those anymore so i have them there just for when i practice and i have a ton of different uh, cuticle pushers because i'd like to test them out my favorite ones are the straight cuticle pushers from sally's and i get these clear glass containers from sally's the lids i got from a student and my nippers i bought the purple nippers those are great er ergonomic nippers for if you have you know any pain in your hands or any chronic disease or disorder definitely recommend something like this because they are so easy on the hand but they are not as sharp they are more expensive than the ones on the left which are the blue from dollar tree for one dollar which are my favorite right now one dollar i can toss it after a few months and keep going so i have a ton of those i love them they're my favorite these are double sided nippers one is one fourth and the other one is half so of um the jaw so i got these from a beauty show a long time ago um they dolled up within a month they <laughs> they weren't that great but i use them for to remove jewelry and crystals this one i got opi from the school and i keep it to remove crystals as well the sharpness already dulled down so right now like i said i use the ones from dollar tree awesome recommend them and these are just little scissors for like the eyebrows that I use for clipping off things, whatever I need them for. I have my clippers. I love, love the straight clippers. Those are my favorite, especially to cut out tips. They just cut a crisp line perfectly. And I do use the curved ones for regular manicures. I have my hand sanitizer and all my nail glues. As you can tell, my favorite ones are from Ally Express. That's just my favorite resin for nails. It's just what I like to use. I also have the Mia Secret one, which cost me more than all the other glues that are in there. But it's okay. It still works really good. I apply the Protein Bond for my acrylic nails. That's exactly what I use. And the little glass porcelain container was for my extra monomer these are awesome lint free wipes that i get from tony's nail supply and i got both of these as gifts one for my mother-in-law one for my mother uh, these are just permanent markers that i use for nail design these are nippers i got from ebay to nip the nail tips and these are just to pick up crystals and gems they're just like eyebrow pluckers type of things you can buy them anywhere. This is a curette. I used to use these for pedicures. I no longer do pedicures, so I don't use them. They just clean off all that nasty dirt on the sidewall. And this is just the one I use to remove acrylic. And that's the only one I use, so I don't damage it. Uh, the acrylic container I got from Dollar Tree. All my little containers I get from Dollar Tree. Even this white one I got from the Dollar Tree. And then my nail files. I love I got these from Tony's nail supply it is located in Texas but I'll put the link down below if you want to order online these are exactly what they look like little glove for their fingers it protects for when I have a cut or the client has a cut and I'm not trying to get anything transferred in any way so and these are foils that I get from Dollar Tree and I just cut them up and I have everything pre-cut and ready cotton balls as well from Dollar Tree these are makeup round sponges that i cut into four so they're like those little pads that you remove makeup i cut them into four and they work amazing to remove no chip acrylic and gel honestly i love this more than the cotton balls and i have the blue gloves in the back if you didn't see sorry i didn't show that part this is one of my favorites gummy jelly it is from e nail couture it is awesome to apply crystals on a full nail. So if you apply a thin layer of this without curing, then do top coat without curing, then apply the crystals and cure it in the lamp, your nails will look flawless for weeks and weeks on end. This is a UV gel that I get from premiernailsource.com. It is just regular gel that 
you would have to soak off and then this is IBD hard gel which will not soak off so you have to file it off and this is one of my favorites as well as you can tell I get this from Sally's this is my favorite monomer is from youngnails.com it is awesome you do have to be licensed to get this but it is amazing lotion I get the warm o lotion pink one from Sally's this is Sani Soaks. I put this for manicures or pedicures. They're tablets. They do turn the water blue and sometimes give a hint. I will show on the manicure video on top. If you would like to see it, go ahead and click down below in the description box. It's amazing for disinfecting and for cleaning and softening the cuticles. Just extras and backups. My favorite Mia Secrets Acrylic Cover Pink. Definitely recommend it if you need a cover pink. Mia Secrets Acrylic Cover Pink. Unikeys, I have a video about this. It is from Ally Express. It's the poly gel I use. It's my preference. I've tried many other expensive brands. I just don't like to work with those. And my absolute favorite OPI acrylic powder. I love the white. It's just honestly the same name, perfect. My favorite Young Nails Clear Acrylic and Mia Secrets Cover Pink. I have a video where I show me using these. It is awesome for ombres or baby bloom nails definitely recommend and this is the gel bottle the rubber top coat you can build with this and then the matte top coat I love this brand this is one of my favorite gel brands now I'm like truly loving this brand it works amazingly I have the clear rubber base which is just a base coat and then I have the colors to build the nail which I have a video as you can see with the demo and review and just how to properly do it and then I have two clear ones because, like I said, I really love this. I'm already almost empty in both of those. And then I have another beige color in this. And I will so show you the swatches of the colors I do currently have. Not many, but I'm definitely going to keep building. It is an amazing brand, and I definitely recommend it. Now, you should buy now because they are going professional, and you will need a license to buy. So buy now that you can. Cuticle Eliminator, I get this from Sally's. Works amazing. Working hands hand cream. I use this for men's manicures. It works awesome. It does get oily, so I always have them wash their hands afterwards. But it works amazingly if their hands are rough. Liquid Hand Soap from OPI. What I use a few drops of this for their manicures. Now I'll be talking about the practice hand. I have a review and demo on this. If you would like to see it, it's on the link below. This mannequin hand is awesome. It is truly something I do recommend for you to get if you're learning and practicing. And I do have a 10% off if you would like to use my affiliated code. I would definitely love that and appreciate it. It's down below. This is the Moments lenses. This is what I use to record my videos and to take pictures. This is the macro lens, which you can see on the picture down below. It zooms in and takes amazing pictures. You just attach it to the back case of your phone, and it works amazingly. I also have that video of, the, of me working on that nail if you want to see. That is the case, and you just attach the lens to the back of it, and it works amazing. Remember, it's the macro. It's not the tele. I have it on the wrong box. This one is the tele lens. And this one zooms in a little bit more than normal. Not crazy zoom in, but for videos that you don't want to lose any quality of the picture, definitely recommend for YouTube videos if you're doing YouTube. So I have a code for this as well if you want to save. It's down below. Now this is just a manicure ball. Just a regular killer manicure ball. These I use to soak off acrylic because I put water, warm water down below so it heats up the acetone. So that way the acrylic comes off easier and doesn't harshen the nails or anything like that it just helps it a lot better just a regular file that i use for manicures i got it from all these supplies from tonysnailsupply.com this is the buffer i use i love these buffers they're amazing just use them once everything i throw away i don't keep especially if it's just one time use now these brushes i love they're my favorite these brushes i do keep because they do hold up in um in barber side so i can fully disinfect them and I just have my backup stuff for whenever I eat something I shouldn't eat or whenever, you know, one of those mornings when you wake up early and you forget to brush your teeth. It's all there. Uh, these are all the stuff I use on myself, so I keep. This is for my ring light that I use for my phone and anything, any of the attachments that I use. Remember the clear little container is from Dollar Tree. I have my gums. I have my headache pills because you never know. I have my glass cleaner wipes. I have a tape because you never know when you need tape. And I have all my other backup cards for whenever I need my backup cards. I got this from Etsy if you're interested in getting something similar.
Now this is where I put on my ring lights covers for different lighting effects. I got these from Amazon as well with the ring lights. I will link down the ring light. And these are from the dollar store. These are just body sprays for my clients that work out downstairs at the gym. They come up and they can use them. Or for myself if I ever get uh, my first aid kit because you never know. These are the clear swatch nail tips that I use for my books. I got these from eBay if I'm correct. The first drawer in the Alex drawer will be... My favorite forms, these are from Mia Secrets. Uh, they are from Amazon. I will link it down below. They're my favorite. They're huge. They're long, so they work perfectly. I got these from school when I went to school, and they're not my favorite, but if you want to start practicing, you can definitely, I would definitely say these are fine. They're inexpensive. These are clear tips for my other mannequin hand. The robot looking like one, I get clear because I just prefer it. And this is where I keep them for now. I got them from eBay, if I remember correctly. These are just to hold my polishes or my glues when I'm doing dips or anything like that. This is a stand that I use. I got this from AliExpress to hold my finger whenever I do my own nails. And these containers I no longer can share because the store has closed online. But it is amazing containers. And I keep all my natural nail tips on this first one and on my second one I keep all my clear tips and my tips I get from glitterplanet.com my favorite pre pinch nail tips they are pinched so they are curved they give you the C curve already they're amazing a little bit on the pricier side but definitely worth every penny I have backups I always have backups of these like I said they're glitterplanet.com they're amazing they're from the UK they're definitely worth every penny and these I got from Mexico. I have opened them to practice with. They're a little bit more on the stiffer side, but definitely good for clients who have very curved nails. So, like I said, I prefer clear over any other thing. And then these are my Nuni Taurus ones, which I did a video on a review. The link is down below if you're interested in watching it. These are amazing too because they are pre-pinched, which I love pre-pinched tips. They just make life easier. And these are in the natural color, which is awesome too. This little container I got from AliExpress, so it's a lot smaller. And if you do drop it, it might pop open once in a while, depending. These are stiletto pointy ones. These are awesome for if people want pointier nails or if they want a really short coffin, you just cut off the tip and there you go. There's your coffin. These are awesome. I got them from AliExpress. They're very bendable and they're flexible, so they work well. And these are all my chrome powders and my glitter and pigments. I put two numbers in them because I do one under white base and one under black base uh, this is my mirror chrome one i honestly love this method they each have their own sponge already in there and the little baggies are from walmart they're really inexpensive and they come in a pack of 100 so i have all my pigments in there labeled so if a client wants it on their white base or a black base at least they get an idea of what they prefer and most of these pigments i mean i get them from different stores so it honestly depends on what you're looking for to get and the little baskets i do get from dollar tree this is a gel polish thinner yes gel polish thinner if your gel polish gets chunky and gooey and it's just looking like it's not going to work anymore do not throw it away try it with this first to try to save it to see if it works i got this from ebay it is amazing it is a uh, glamour and glitz glitz and glamour glamour and glitz I can't think right now <laughs> it is their thinner and you can tell i've used it a ton i'm almost out of it and i have to reorder i will be making a video to show you how i use this on my gel polishes as soon as i order gel polishes that are really thick so you can see how it works and then i will be showing you these two items that i got from my client from my client from my student these are blooming gels if i'm correct she either got it from wish or aliexpress it's a clear one and a white one i will show you what i can do with them so basically using the clear and the white i did these designs right here the marble the cool effects it's all before because of the blooming gel so it's definitely worth it and i love that i got it as a gift because i always say i'm going to test things out but i never get around to it until i get them as a gift and i'm like oh there you go <laughs> and all these powders that i'm showing you are the ones that i just showed you the packages all these pigments under white base and under a black base just so you can see how different they look depending on the base these are my cat eye I do have a video where I reviewed these cat eyes they're a dollar 95 cents at the moment where I when I purchased them from AliExpress and these magnet sticks I got from a student as a gift they are different magnet sticks shapes and designs which are super cool so she gave me the magnet sticks first before I even bought any magnet polishes so then that made me try 
why not let me go try some magnet polish and see how it works together this is a peel off base coat it peels off but it is gel so you have to cure it and then you can pop it off when you're done i got it from aliexpress this is the foil transfer gel from daily charm i have a whole video and review on it if you would like to see it it's linked down below it is awesome i really do recommend it if you like foils and these are the little spider web type of gels they're really thick and pigmented i did a video with christmas nails me using a white one on top of the green nail it is very thick and spidery like they work amazing with dotting tools if you would like to do certain designs so if you'd like to see that me try them out in that video definitely i'll probably do a more in-depth video specifically using these two with different type of designs so stay tuned for that and these are kind of like gummy gel type of texture these are great for 3d designs for flowers for anything like that i have not tried them out but i will be doing a video on this so stay tuned for that to see what we can come up with and to see if i think they're worth it they cure under the light and harden like acrylic under the light though so it's like a gel type of process and these are the sticks that you can use the little pens that you can use to shape them and these are pipettes. I think I'm saying that correctly if I studied. <laughs> these are awesome for dip nails. I use these to absorb the powder or glitter and apply it right on top of the nails. And these are the clear con little glass containers I got from Family Tree for on top of any dip nail powders that I use so all the extra powder can be saved. And then these are the two powders that I use for dip nails. If I don't make my own or if I don't use clear, I definitely love Cuccio Pro and I love Kira Sky. They're awesome powders to use for dip nails very smooth and slick and great prices if you buy in bulk for sure i got these from the beauty show when i went to the beauty show in chicago these little purple things are used for many things in the beauty industry i use them to clean up any product and for glue when i apply crystals as well and these little containers are from the kitchen section of Dollar Tree. I use them because they fit perfectly in my Alex drawers. Three of them fit, so that just made it easier for me to apply and organize my gel polishes. So this is where I put all my gel polishes. I label them with numbers, and I put them in the actual bin. And then I have the swatch book where people can look. So it makes it so much easier for me to look for the specific colors that they're looking for. I have many different brands. I have Eli 99. I have IBD. I have a ton from Ally. Oh, I just, I have a ton of gel polishes. <laughs> and I keep opening up and trying new brands. And if I don't like something, I definitely pass up on it or give it away or toss it depending how bad it is but um i am open to try new products la palm is one of the newer ones which is a great brand it is in combination with gel 2 brand if you're you know if you're familiar with that brand for sure is one of my favorite polishes from ally express very pigmented and very inexpensive my gel 2 polishes which i really do love this is what actually one of my favorite colors that i this is the second bottle that i buy of that Coochie or more of the sheer colors that I got because they were on sale so sometimes there's good deals BMC bundlemonster.com great polishes very thick and very very inexpensive I do definitely recommend that brand these are the jelly nail ones that I got for $1.88 from AliExpress I have the review on that video and my ultimate favorite gel polishes as of right now as of 2019 of april is gel in a bottle polishes amazing only need one coat honestly if you want to save product and they work great very pigmented these containers are from ally express i will try to link them down below they're amazing inexpensive and i uh, put all my 3d art glitters anything that i can avoid having in little plastic baggies i put them here because i like to see i'm more of a hands-on and i have to see the actual product and my clients enjoy just picking out things because they are in containers all these glitters and pigments are from ally express as of right now from aliexpress ebay amazon there's just a ton i did get a bunch from mexico as well as gifts so there's just mixed variety of things no specific links or anything like that but they are 3d 
nail art or just type in nail art inexpensive and you will find them these are mostly all holographic they're super pretty there's many many designs like i said they're from different stores but i do recommend the containers because you can just pile them up and they still look so pretty and you can still show off the different designs these 3d charms and nail art i either get them from um, the sales sections from different websites in the nail industry so it really depends nailsuperstore.com premiernailsource.com um, amazon there's just a ton of places ebay these are dried flowers all the ones on the left i got from mexico these i did love at one point when i got from ally express they are for crystals to they're the waxed pen crystals to absorb after a little bit they dull down and they just get so thick so you can't pick up the really tiny ones so they're great for huge bigger crystals um this container i got from amazon it is definitely worth it and i love it because you can see right through so that you can pick out the crystals you like for your client or your client can pick them out my crystals i get especially if they're on sale from michael's when they have coupons buy one get one 50 percent off or 50 percent off your order even if it means i go in for one or two packets that's <laughs> that's how i build it up um, i do also get them from aliexpress ebay amazon um you know couture i've shopped so many different stores i just i'm very open to different stores um so I really truly recommend these containers for crystals. They just look so pretty and elegant and organized. And I do have my crystals labeled in numbers so that I know when I want to use the same crystal in different sizes. So that's why you've seen those number labels on top of the little containers. These are just extra charms that I got. They are not $79. They're 79 pesos. They are from Mexico. I just haven't gotten around to using them so far. These are wax pencils. Well, definitely one of my favorites. These are just not sharp, and these are extras that I have. Definitely recommend them from AliExpress. These are chisel acrylic edgers. They're the brand ch uh, chiseled, and they cut acrylic. So you apply acrylic, let it mat down a little bit, and cut off designs. I have a video where I tested these out so you can see if they're worth it or not. Um, I, if I'm correct, I got them from Princess, uh, the Princess Nail Store, but I, like I said, it's linked down below so you can see the video if you would like to see if it's something you would like to get. These are just backups and extras. This is how they come. I got these specifically from Ally Express, and then I transfer these to the other containers. These are just extra stickers, dried flowers, everything that I have to the side. I do have a binder where I put all my foils and nail art stickers and all that stuff i do not show this in this video i want to make a separate video where i how i properly put them in binders and how i label them and put them in sections and these are just tape that i put for the nails as well and i have to find a better better way to organize those as well this is where i have my acrylic powders my first drawer now it says r for regular and d for dip I use my acrylic powders for regular just monomer and a brush and I use them for dipped with glue and activator. So that is why there's two numbers on them. And I will show you the swatches of them on Glam and Glitz uh, 25 acrylic swatches video. I have that link down below. So like I said, I like using my acrylic powders as dip and as regular acrylic. That is just something that I like to do. Now these containers are where I make my own acrylic powders and I have a video on this. It's an older video, but I will be making a more updated video soon where I show you how I make all my glitter acrylic powders and color powders. Um, the method hasn't really changed. It's just an older video, but it, I still do them the same. But I think I'm gonna do a newer video with more of a color selection and more of a, excuse me, different textures of acrylic glitters as well. So I buy the little containers from Walmart. They're just the little condiment containers and I put about two ounces of clear acrylic and then just mix a bunch of glitters. And I label them by numbers and I have them swatched in my swatch sticks. So when a client picks a certain color, then I know where to look in the drawer. This is just a rolling tape that I use for my stamping tools to remove all my stamps when I'm applying stamps. This is one I got from eBay, if I'm correct, and my stamps I've gotten from so many places. That's my favorite from Amazon. It's Conan. It's literally almost empty. It's my favorite white stamping t nail polish, but you can use any nail polish. I've tested them out, and they worked really well. 
Um, the one of my favorite ones is the fast drying Sally Hansen's nail polish. Works great for stamping, but you gotta work super fast. And I'm just showing you my stamps that I have, even some that I haven't even peeled off to use. <laughs> but um, I bought the little cases from eBay. So if you're interested, definitely look at eBay. And I'm just showing you how I do them and how I use. This is Young Nails um, Art Screen Scraper that I love. This is my favorite. Honestly, you can use a credit card, an old credit card, an old debit card, whatever you have. You can definitely use just some extra nail designs. I have a ton of these in a binder that I want to show you. It's just I totally forgot about these and I didn't put them back in their place. These are other stamping polishes that I got. They work great. This is the Young Nails Stamper Tool. The caption I just haven't used it as much as the other one I'm just so used to the bigger one this one's a little bit smaller but it still works as great I just have to always keep it covered or else it gets really gunky and nasty this is the one I started with I got that from Amazon it's a stamping tool I don't use it as much because I can't really see where I apply my design these are regular polishes that I got from Walmart they're LA colors they're pretty good they're good for ombre when you do the ombre with the sponge these are great for that so i definitely recommend it if you want it for that or just to have a uh, regular polish they work great these are the sponges i get these from dollar tree to do the ombre effect this is the brothers tape label maker that i use i got this from amazon it was more on the inexpensive side and then i have extra tape my favorite clear acrylic powder mia secrets it is definitely worth every penny i love this powder this is what i use to make all my acrylic glitters and colors and just to have other than young nails is honestly my two favorite just more acrylic paints for designs 3d art just for polishing designs and all that good stuff and this is my little painting palette whenever i mix colors more extra permanent markers if i ever need them and extra clear nail tips and that's it for the studio tour. I really hope you guys like it. I do appreciate you taking the time to watch and all the support and love I get. Thank you so much. Subscribe to my channel and thanks again for watching.